Hi guys, it's Lauren, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a guinea pig cage liner for your guinea pig's cage. The things you will be needing for this tutorial is your fabric of choice. Here I'm just using this really cute owl pattern fabric. It also has some moons and stars in it, which is really adorable. And then you're going to need something to stuff your fabric. Um, so here you can see that I'm using a towel and some batting. Um, you don't have to use what I'm using. Um, if you don't want to use a towel and batting, you can use U-Haul or if there's anything else you can find to replace, then that is good. You're just going to need something to stuff so it absorbs and is cushiony. Now for the measurements of your fabric, it will depend on how big your cage is. So. From, for my fleece liners that I'm going to be doing, I like to do a 2x3 fleece liner. So that way if I ever modify my cage, um, I can always change it around. My cage is not a 2x3, but um, I really like it because then I just have to put in as many cage liners as I need. So that way it fills the whole cage. But I really like using 2x3s just because I feel like it... Um, Oops, my phone went off. I feel like it um, is nice because then when I ever change my cage, I can still use the cage liners. So the size for a 2x3, if you anyone's wondering, is a 50 by 60 inches. Um, and that will basically give you both sides once you fold the fabric in half. And that will give you a 2x3, both sides, all in all. But if you wanted to do different patterns on each side, um, then of course you'd have to measure and tweak everything to your liking. The last thing you will be needing is of course a sewing machine or a needle and thread. I'd recommend using a sewing machine. Hand sewing just takes forever to do this. I've actually done it by hand sew before. I've done one cage liner by hand sew and it took forever. It took me three days to finish because of course I didn't want to just sit all day sewing. Your hands get tired and it's just a mess. So it, with doing a cage liner with a sewing machine, it works so fast, probably like 20 minutes at the least or 15. Um, depends on how fast you are at sewing and how long it takes you. Now you're going to want to fold your fleece fabric in half or um, like and you're gonna want, when you fold it in half or whatever you're doing, if you're doing two different sides. Um, you're going to want to put the good side in the inside, like here. This was really hard for me to tell, but if you can look closely. So if you look closely, you can see that this side has more fluff to it than this side does. And that's how you can tell which side is the good side. So this, the one with more fluff is the good side, so that will be folded in. Next, you're going to want to measure and cut your batting to the size of your fleece. As you can see here... My batting did not go all the way, but that's okay. I have plenty more batting to fill up that spot and get it all in there. So I'm just basically going to trim off the outer edge over there, and then I'll get back. After I got everything measured, my towel actually fits perfectly on it, so I didn't have to cut any of that, but um, I did have to cut some of the batting, as you can tell. So now after I've got everything measured, it's time to get sewing. So before we get sewing, I should probably tell you where you're going to need to sew. So you're going to need to sew across the bottom, this edge, and this edge. And then you're going to leave that bottom edge open so that way we can stuff it. So once I've got my fabric in place, I will zoom in so you can kind of see here. So it's nice in place. I've already put the pedal down. So now it's just time to turn on the machine. So a nice little light comes on when I turn on my machine. So after you've sewn all of the edges, except the bottom here, it's time to flip this inside out. Uh. Noelle, seriously. After you have folded it inside out, it's time to stuff it. So as you can see, I did halfway of the stuffing with, um, the batting and the towel and as you saw earlier I had to use two different pieces of batting so I have to add in the long piece of batting now which 
um, is right here. So after I'm done doing that, I will finish it off. Now once you've stuffed your whole cage liner, it's time to sew that seam right there. Um, you can sew it however you want. You can either tuck it in like that and then sew it or just leave it how it is. Um, I probably will just leave it how it is. I've done it before. It looks fine to me. Um, I usually put that side against the wrong side of the cage, like the side that doesn't really matter, I guess you could say. So that's what I'm going to do. Now after you've sewn your seam, it is time to finish it off by sewing a square on the inside or basically rectangle in my case. Um, just on the inside, about maybe three to four inches um, from the edge. And that will hold everything in place. That way when you wash it, the towel and the batting doesn't get all wadded up. It'll just stay down. And once you finish that, you are all done. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.